guys, welcome back to Movie Month. As you can see, I'm wearing the LA badge from one of my favorite movies ever, Up. This week, we are talking about Pixar. I feel like I haven't really talked about Pixar enough, honestly. I have spoken a lot about Disney, but not really a lot about Pixar. And that changes today, because we are doing my favorite thing on the channel that no one else really seems to care about. This is Sorted Pixar. I'm gonna pick 10 random characters from any of the Pixar movies and sort them in Hogwarts houses because I'm a Harry Potter nerd and this makes me happy. What else do you want? First character is Anger from Inside Out. Anger is a really fun, funny character and he's actually kind of easy to sort. He's very hot-headed, very stubborn, and he kind of likes to rise to a challenge. So for those reasons, I'm going to be putting anger into Gryffindor. Next is Sadness from Inside Out. Sadness is a little bit harder than anger, but she is definitely one of my favorite characters from Inside Out. She is a little bit more complicated than a lot of people might initially think. What's so great about Sadness is that she really likes to learn about people. She likes to learn in general. And it seems like she has a lot of ingenuity and creativity. So I'm going to be putting Sadness into Ravenclaw. Next is Vi Violet is a character I think a lot of people could relate to. She is definitely a sweet kind person who uses her brains to really help people and get ahead and she is definitely a very smart person. So I'm also going to be putting Violet into Ravenclaw. Next is Gil from Finding Nemo. Gil is a really kind of awesome character who honestly doesn't get a lot of a, cre a lot of credit. Most of the characters you think of from Finding Nemo are like Nemo or Marlin or Dory but Gil is an awesome character who just doesn't really get his due. He's very brave and very driven. He has a goal and he wants to get to it and he really kind of does it no matter what. But you know he has a good head on his fins. I don't know, he's a fish. I'm going to be putting Gil into Gryffindor. Next is Sully from Monsters, Inc. and Monsters University. Sully is a very awesome character. He is this big, monstrous looking guy, but he really has a very sweet, kind heart. Sully is a little stubborn, and he does stick to his guns a lot. And he's also very, very brave. I mean, not many monsters would just take in Boo like he did, because most monsters were afraid of humans. So I'm going to be putting Sully into Gryffindor. Next is Doug from Up. Doug is one of my favorite characters. He is hilarious. Doug is so sweet and kind and all he wants to do is please everybody. And he is a particularly good finder. So therefore, I'm going to be putting Doug into Hufflepuff. Next is Syndrome from The Incredibles. Syndrome is one of the best examples of a villain in Pixar's pantheon of movies. A lot of Pixar movies don't really have villains, maybe metaphorical villains, but not straight up antagonists. But Syndrome is definitely one of the awesomest. Syndrome is very smart and he really uses his smarts to get ahead. But another thing about Syndrome is that he is very ambitious. He has a plan and he wants to enact that plan. He really doesn't care what it takes to see that plan to fruition. So I'm going to be putting Syndrome into Slytherin. Not that all Slytherins are bad, not all bad guys are Slytherins, but I think Syndrome is definitely a Slytherin. Next is Buzz Lightyear from the Toy Story franchise. Buzz is such an awesome, amazing character. Buzz with his bravado and his strength and his manliness is very fun to watch. And he is a very brave character who will definitely self-sacrifice himself if it means accomplishing what needs to be accomplished. 
So I'm going to be putting Buzz Lightyear into Gryffindor. Next is what I like about Remy is that he knows how to make food and make it in a creative way or in a different way that fits his own limitations. So I'm going to be putting Remy into Ravenclaw. Lastly, we have Woody from Toy Story. Woody is definitely one of my favorite Pixar characters and probably my favorite character from the Toy Story franchise. Woody is very loyal. Very loyal, but almost loyal to a fault. He is so loyal that he almost kind of kills Buzz a little bit. I mean, he's so loyal to Andy that he is threatened by any new toy coming in. Once you are friends with Woody, Woody will do whatever it takes to take care of you and to look out for you. I think he definitely learned his lesson with Buzz because he became much more accepting and understanding. He has a very clear vision of what's right and what's wrong and he will make sure that what he thinks is right to be done, even if it may be at the sake of his own safety or his own life. He is a very brave character and so I'm actually going to be putting Woody into Gryffindor. That's my take on Pixar characters. There is a ton more, ton more that I didn't get to. There are even some movies I didn't even cover. It's just the luck of the draw. Thank you guys so much for watching and please let me know what houses you think these characters should be because it's definitely up to interpretation. I am not the queen JK Rowling. She would know better, much better than me. So make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and follow me on Twitter, Snapchat, and Letterboxd. And I will see you guys next week with a very special video, my Oscar predictions. So thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye. Hufflepuffs are particularly good finders. What the hell is a Hufflepuff? <laughs> Valentine's Day. It's the day to celebrate love, romance, and being close to the people you hold dear. A while ago, a viewer and subscriber actually asked me to do this video, and I thought that would be a great video to do, and it would be great for Valentine's Day. So I thought it would be really fun to talk about